Hello everyone and welcome back to Cyberkin Productions. Today I'm going to be reviewing the brand new Jadoon Captain figure. So let's jump into it. Starting off with the box, it has the same blister pack packaging as Darth and the Recon Dalek, so I'm not going into as much detail. The Doctor logo is shown at the top, with the Jadoon Captain action figure at the bottom. It also comes with a pistol, reader and translator accessories. A large window allows a clear view of the Jadoon and her accessories. The right side is the same TARDIS picture seen in the box for the 13th Doctor's TARDIS and the back shows off the rest of the figure wave as well as the TARDIS and the sonic screwdriver. That's enough about the box, let's take a look at the Jadoon Captain. So here she is, the Jadoon Captain, and it's pretty well done. It's taken from the same mould as the previous two variants we've had before but with some modifications including the hair, white eye, different coloured horns, the chest unit and the accessories. So it's got enough to class itself as a new figure. The face sculpt is really good with the detail on the face showing the folds of skin as well as the bone structure. The ears protrude out from the head with some detail on the inside. The hair has a dark brown finish and looks very nice with the strands of hair flowing up. One eye has a brown pupil in it and the other is left white. The horns are the same colour as the hair with excellent detailing. The mouth is in a snarling pose with teeth visible underneath. Her outfit mainly consists of different armour plating covering her arms, hands, chest and back. On the chest you can see muscle indentations carved into it, as well as the new chest unit. The side features buckles which connects to the armour on the back, which has some more indentations and sculpted detail. The arms feature the shoulder pads and upper arm guards, and finally the hands above gloved with some added armour detail and are both sculpted to hold her accessories. Moving to the waist, she wears a belt with more clasps and buckles on the side, as well as the holster that goes down her right side for the storing of her gun. The skirt section is flexible, some silver studs on the ends, and the boots feature more clasps with some detail for the laces. And finally, the bottom of the boots feature some more legal stuff. Turning to accessories, she comes with three different tools, the reader, translator, and the gun. The reader and translator are both new moulds, which look excellent. They both feature a lot of detail for their small size, and are both painted in silver with dark purple on the ends. The gun, however, is just a repaint, even though they had a new pistol in the episode but I suppose it's better than nothing. The gun is painted in maroon slash purple with some black on the back of it. It also features some really good detailing for its small size. The reader and translator held securely onto the figure with small pegs that fit into the belt, whereas the gun is placed into the gun holster. They can easily be taken off and placed into the figure's hands where they are very secure. The translator can also be placed into the chest unit. Turning to articulation, the head doesn't move at all, which makes sense. There's a 360 degree on the shoulder, 360 degree on the elbow, which can also bend 90 degrees, and there is a 360 degree twist on the wrist. There is a 360 degree waist joint, but it is quite stiff. The legs can move out about 45 degrees and can slightly move to the side, but this is hindered by the skirt. The boots can turn 360 degrees as well as bend at 90 degrees. So some really good articulation for the figure. In the size comparison, you can see she doesn't look out of place when put with other figures, or even when put with some Jadoon troopers. So overall, what do I think to this figure? It's not bad. This figure was clearly the one they quickly thought about and was easy to produce as all they had to do was make some tweaks to it and it was a new figure. But that aside, I like it. It's nice to get a third variant of the Jadoon Captain. The accessories are really nice but a bit disappointed with the gun. But hey, it was hardly shown in the episode so I can see it from character's point of view. So that concludes this review. If you liked it, please leave a like and tell me what you think in the comments below. If you enjoy Doctor Who content, then also subscribe to not miss any more figure reviews as well as the Doctor Who fan series that is currently in production. Thank you all so much for watching, and until we meet again, goodbye.